let's learn how we can start using Zapier Central, which are AI agents to start automating our outreach process when it comes to marketing. The goal of this video is we're gonna create a bot together. And the purpose of this bot is I will simply just provide a business website's link. With this link, the bot is gonna go ahead and output a draft email we could send that business for the services we provide. We're also gonna get these social media handles. We're also gonna get the location, contact numbers, everything we would need when it comes to creating a lead in our business. Let's go ahead and jump in. Today's video is sponsored by Zapier and we are gonna be looking at the power of Zapier Central. If you're familiar with this channel, we've done a ton of videos when it comes to Zapier Central and really automating tasks. If you have no clue what Zapier Central is, here is a quick TLDR. This is gonna be the closest we can get to as of now to AI autonomous agents in the context of really doing tasks for us in a chat bot like interface. Now, if you like today's video, make sure to click the link down below as Zapier is doing a live workshop next week on this topic. Specifically in that live workshop, they're gonna show you how to use Zapier Central in the context of AI powered sales. This video, let's go ahead and create some leads with these chat bots. To begin, we're gonna to go to Zapier Central here. We're gonna come up here to new assistant. We're gonna go ahead and name it to Web Scraper Outreach as the purpose of this video is to create leads based off links. That's it. We'll take the position of a web design agency. Now, whatever your use case is and however you do cold reach, that would be your context. From here, we're going to go ahead and just say create assistant. Once we create the assistant, we're going to come back to instructions here and make sure we just put in very general instructions so it kind of knows the direction you want to take it. Your goal is to help with cold outreach for our web design agency named Best Website Ever LLC. And my name is Corbin. So it knows how to reference this when we make our draft emails together, when we create all this content automatically through the central bot, through a link, give it a little context of who you are, your business, et cetera. Update assistant. Now in theory, I could create an action to do what I wanna do in this video, which is basically grabbing this data and pushing it to a Google Sheet. But I'm gonna show you how to do this without doing that. My goal here is how to show you how to create this action with just simply typing it out. And that's probably one of the biggest advantages of this platform. So let's go and begin. I'm gonna come over here to the first awakening, which if you're ever in Monterey, which is south of San Francisco, this is some of the best corned beef hash I've ever had. The best corned beef hash, Corbin, the best. Like top of the line, anywhere I go, you gotta get it. So if you want some good corned beef hash, check out First Awakening. Let's go ahead and provide the link here, ask for relevant information that we would want, push to a Google Sheet, as the name of the game is simply copy and paste. Copy the link. Here we go. So the first message here is gonna be pretty extensive because we really wanna set up our playground here of how we wanna approach every link past this. We're gonna say, here we go. For this business, semicolon, provide the link. We want the following put into a Google Sheet row, semicolon. We will have these columns, business name, location, contact information, social media handles, email draft. Now it's important for us to make the email draft personalized based on the business. Here we go. What's great is that this was just typing. That's all I did. We haven't set up any automations yet, but what you'll see is that by you basically asking it what kind of automation you want to do and what kind of workflow you want to do, it's going to give us an output here, but then prompt us to create said action. But because we've kind of outlined the direction we want to go, creating said action will be a lot easier. And from this output, you can see this is pretty cool, y'all. So it's gonna show us a visual user interface of what this would look like in a Google Sheet row. We got the business name, First Awakenings. Is it First Awakenings? Always First Awakenings. We got the location. We have the contact information. We have the social media handles and we have our email draft. Now let's go ahead and create this into an action that we can replicate based off a ton of different links. Furthermore, it actually took a screenshot of the website as well. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, before we create this action together and make it so that basically anytime I provide a link to any business, we get this same information. Keep in mind, y'all, whatever you deem as relevant for a cold outreach or creating leads within your business, you can create as a column as well when scraping data from said website. That's part of the reason why I wanted to show you an example of the email draft. Like that's super cool. It got my name of Corbin. It got the name of the business being the best website ever, LSE, the best website, the best website, and is able to create this draft automatically for us. And we could probably take this even farther here where we could probably make an automation through Zapier where we could create that draft within our Gmail, et cetera, et cetera. For now though, let's go ahead and create this action so we can replicate at scale. Now we can simply put in the command, let's create an action here to get said action, or we can come up here to behaviors and create a behavior together. So we hit create behavior. The trigger and probably the most powerful thing about AI Central here is the ability to basically message the assistant and proceed in this manner. Now we can choose to input a actual trigger word, 
or alternatively just add the trigger where it's like we reference it. Let's go and reference it with cold lead, add trigger. So anytime I say cold lead in the chat, it's going to trigger this entire flow. Let's go ahead and go back here to what we had earlier in order to paste it over to make our lives easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and command C this. So you automate creating a new row in Google Sheet when a new row is added to a specific Google Sheet with the columns business name, location, contact information, social media handles, and email draft. You need to create behavior. We'll go ahead and delete that. And we're gonna go ahead and do the behavior actions here as Google Sheet. Create spreadsheet row. We're gonna go ahead and choose a connection to an account that we can access Google Sheets with. Now you can either have AI create the spreadsheet or alternatively already have a spreadsheet created. So I'm gonna go to reference a spreadsheet I've already created here. With my spreadsheet here, I have best ever website outreach. Let's go ahead and reference it. We're gonna do best ever website outreach. Pretty nice. From here, we can select a very specific worksheet. We might as well. So it's gonna be sheet one for us. We're gonna add action. In the instructions, we're gonna simply add, we will provide you with a website link. You fill in for each column, the relevant data. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this again here, semicolon, paste. Now, due to the fact that we're gonna be using this spreadsheet long-term, let's go ahead and just add the columns real quick to our spreadsheet. Columns have been added to our spreadsheet here. Let's go ahead and test it. We're gonna go ahead and come down here. We're gonna say on. Now, as I referenced earlier, our way of triggering this is gonna be cold lead. I'm gonna exit out of this. You can see that our current behavior is on. That means we can reference it. Now, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and reference the trigger word, which is cold lead. Right under cold lead, because I referenced within the instructions themselves, I'll provide a URL. Let's go and provide that URL. As I said earlier, this could be any business's URL. And what we should see now is that the first awakening data that we saw within the first half of the video will now be automatically pushed to that Google Sheet we just created from here on out. I'm simply going to paste in the first awakening URL here and hit enter. What you'll notice is that we're going to get the little trigger notification here and it proceeds. Here we go. It went ahead and grabbed the relevant data that we cared about. So we got the first awakenings, location, contact information, social media handles, email draft. Now the action of pushing this to the Google Sheets is currently in progress. This is why this kind of workflow is next level. The ability to just grab data is already cool in itself, but also adding that nuance of creating an email draft for that specific type of data, that is awesome. And there we go. It has successfully pushed this data to that Google Sheet. Now, yes, a Google Sheet needs to be formatted a little bit better to handle this much data, like wrapping the text, et cetera, but it did it, y'all. We got the name, locations, the email draft that is specific to that business, providing the name here that we could use and push that towards other automations to automatically set up a Gmail draft. There's a ton of stuff we could do here. So make sure to subscribe here, but also make sure to check out the Zapier Central live workshop that's happening from Zapier next week. Now, this is going to show you how to do this in the context of sales. It's going to do AI powered sales where we're going to be able to create these central bots to really expedite workloads. I mean, you already see the extra layer of awesomeness that we can really do of AI now when it comes to being able to create very specific types of data from data. Gone are the days where it's just simply, well, we got the business name, we got the location. No, 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 we can personalize it now. We can even get the email draft. Apply this to whatever context you may want to apply this to your cold outreach, and I'll see you in the next video. Check out that live workshop in the description down below. It's completely free to attend. I'm going to leave a video I did on Zapier's channel right there. You can check it out yourself. This is showing you how to automate email marketing segments within your business. That's a random video. That's my face. And I'll see you in the next video.